today in this video we're going to be comparing these two staple breakfast cereals one supermarket own brand and the other a brand name product i'm shane i'm lisa and you're watching well I'm I'm watching. Watching. let's take a closer look at the packaging this is the supermarket own brand complete with the nutritional information let's see if we can get both of those together as we can see they're fairly comparable there's not that much in it they look pretty much the same. One thing we did notice when we was looking at the ingredients was that on the nation's favorite cereal, the sugars and salt are higher than the ones on the supermarket cereal. One reason could be is that the biscuits are slightly larger on the branded product. We'll uh, put that theory to the test when we open them and we'll stick them on the weighing scales. We did have a discussion about the box. This is obviously colorful. It does make you wonder though, are strawberries and blueberries included or not? Or is that an indicator that you probably need to add some of those to uh, help with the taste? We'll decide that when we test them later on. I actually thought this plain packaging stood out more. However, I thought it was really bland and boring. The problem really for pushing this product is the fact that it's on the bottom shelf. So it's not really easily seen compared to these branded products. But I found that this one blends in because most of the big players, they have bright, attractive boxes. This is priced at three pounds. This one was 77 pence. So there is quite a big difference between the two, considering they've both got 24 biscuits inside. Compare the ingredients, what we actually find is they're near enough identical, other than a slight change of wording. And the same with the vitamins and minerals. There's, uh, that's probably the biggest difference actually, the vitamins and minerals have, uh, have had a slight adjustment between the two. We'll get these boxes open now so you can take a look, we'll weigh them, check for comparison and then we'll do a taste test. Let's go. Okay, so we'll open the supermarket cereal first. They're quite tightly packaged. So that's like a nice square looking biscuit. It's obviously dropping a few little crumbs, but other than that, it looks quite nice. So we'll pop it on the scales and we'll see how much that one weighs. So that one weighs 18 grams. So it's quite solid, it's quite firm. It's not crumbling in my fingers. So if we break it in half, you can see there what it looks like inside. Again, it's maintained most of its consistency. It's not totally crumbled altogether. So we'll pop that one there and we'll open the branded one now. These are already open because I normally have these for breakfast. So we'll try this one. So this one, as you can see, it's a lot crumblier when you first take it out and it's got more of a rounded edge as opposed to the squarer one. And looking at it like that, it, the supermarket one does look slightly smaller, maybe. And what we'll do is we'll pop this one on the scales. And no, surprisingly, they weigh exactly the same. If they weigh the same, it could well be that it's just a packaging trick just to make it look bigger in comparison. Let's break this one open and have a look. Okay, so we'll take this one now and we'll break this one. It's a lot more crumblier. It's made a lot more crumbs. And we can now compare them both. This one's a lot lighter in colour. The shop bought one is a lot lighter in colour as opposed to the branded one. But again, it's a branded one that's giving off most of the crumbs and crumbling. My observations are that the branded product seems a lot looser packed than the supermarket. Obviously, that's going to make it appear to be slightly bigger. I would say the flakes probably look a bit more darker in colour, slightly more appetising. Let's give these a taste test and see what we think. It's the supermarket's own and this one is the branded. Okay, so we're trying first the... Weetabix. I like mine mushy. I'm going to mush mine up because I like mushy cereal. Okay, let's give this a taste test. So I would say it's... I would say it's Weetabix, it's... Yeah. I like them. It's my kind of cereal. It's plain. I like plain cereal. So I quite like these. It's definitely plain. There was a slight crunch to it. 
Um, it did dissolve in the mouth. Okay, so now we'll try the store's own. I quite like that. I think it tastes like a, a biscuit that you've dipped in tea, is what I think it tastes like. Maybe now that it's absorbed milk, it tastes like when you've dipped your biscuit in your hot cup of tea. It's a very plain... <laughs> it is plain, painted. yeah. I think that one has got less texture. Yes. Um, less crunch, but maybe that's but I think it tastes the better. milk soaked in more. Yeah. Out of the two, I think I prefer the store's own. I think it's got a better taste to it. And for it's me, less harsh, I think. And for me, I don't think there's enough to differentiate between them, certainly for over three times the price. No, definitely not. Out of the two, if it came down to the cost, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the store-bought Weetabix. On taste, I'm probably going to give the Weetabix a seven and the wheat bisques a 5.5 this is on taste oh i think i'd give wheat bisques a six but i think i'd give the wheat bisques maybe an eight i quite like that uh, for value definitely the supermarket own brand 10 out of 10 it's got to be a 10 yeah, out of 10 definitely. there's there's not enough difference to um to differentiate three times the price for the branded cereal. Definitely not, I agree. Yeah, if it comes down to the cost, then you can't go far wrong with the store-bought wee bisques. Why don't you head down to the comments below and give the cereals your comparison and rating. Let us know what you think. Which do you prefer? Have you tried these yourself? I really hope you enjoyed our video today and our comparison of the branded cereal and the store's own cereal. Hope it was informative and helped you in your decision. And hopefully um, this video might save you some money on your weekly shopping. And we will really look forward to seeing you in our next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Bye.